on everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Stop some news, baby. Today we've got our first fact sheets of the Horse Aggravation Pack. And we've got four modders to talk about, including updates from Customani, Lancy Boy, and a couple others. So check it out. Today is Friday, and we have our first set of fact sheets for the Horse Aggravation Pack, releasing on Tuesday, July 25th, 2023, for all platforms. First up, we have the Pronto 6 DC Cedar. It's going to cost you $111,000. It requires 200 horsepower, will hold between 4,000 and 5,400 liters of seed and solid fertilizer, and weighs 10 tons. It also has a 6 meter working width and 11 miles per hour or 18 kilometers per hour. And it will have a few different configurations to choose from. Next, Next is the Joker 8RT Disc Harrow plus the seating unit on it. This is going to cost you $90,000. It requires 330 horsepower. will hold 400 liters of seed in the seating unit if you choose that. It will weigh 9.4 tons and has a working width of 8.2 meters with a working speed of 11 miles per hour or 18 kilometers per hour. It will also have a few different configurations to choose from and it will only seed cover crop and grass. So heads up there. And thirdly, we have the Coltro 9 TC Mulcher. This this will cost you $35,000, requires 240 horsepower, weighs 3.5 tons, and has an 8.9 meter working width at 11 miles per hour or 18 kilometers per hour. The Horse Aggravation Pack will be here in just a few weeks on Tuesday, July 25th for all platforms. This will be the third DLC of year two. It brings us 14 new machines and tools and a new revised map. This pack will also be included in the year two season pass, so if you have that, you will not need to buy or pre-order the DLC. You'll just get it the day it releases. However, if you would like to pre-order the horse aggravation pack buy year two season pass or get the game for the first time on pc check the description for links to all of those and make sure you use the code dj goham when you do that does go to help support the channel at no additional cost to you if you have any questions at all about the new horse aggravation pack let me know down in the comments jumping over to modern news and we start with custom modding who have some new screenshots of their dimco 1200 side quest tanks yes they are coming back one setup is the Case Magnum, and we've got another setup showcasing their John Deere units, both perfectly matched. Currently, they are working on getting everything just right, and then it'll be out for testing for all platforms. Next up, 4D Modding have made some great progress on the 3D model for their Crone Easy Cut 3201 CV mower. They do say that it's almost done, and currently adding the Auto Swather. Of course, as always, no release date or platform information with 4D Modding mods, but I would guess we'll probably see this on all platforms eventually. Even though we're not getting regular updates to the testing list, there are a few modders that are still keeping us updated with the progress of their mods, and today we've got two of them. First is Mac Trucker 921 whose 30-foot flatbed auto-loading bell trailer just went into console testing yesterday. So there's a chance we could see it releasing in the next few days. Additionally, he has another idea. He wants to get some new colors to add to his color palette, but wants to know what would you like to see. If you have any colors you would like to be added, drop him a line. And lastly today, Lancy Boy says that his map American Falls went into the red yesterday, which generally means that the map failed testing. As of earlier yesterday, he was still waiting for the report. It says that once it is in, he will be getting everything fixed back up and have the map return to Giants before the start of next week. And I'll finally be home next week. It's been a long two and a half weeks here in Europe, but I'm ready to be back home in my own studio. And just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article on farmsofnews.com. Thanks to Yos Modding. Remember, there are no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mods going to be released and if i didn't talk about something that you want to know about that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video if there is something you would like to see covered in a future farm sim news video please let me know down in the comment section below otherwise make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of farming simulator well guys that is it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you didn't and join the go ham fam Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Like we said, hope you have a great day and a great weekend, and we will see you later. So, this is it. This is my last video I'm recording from Germany. We'll see you guys in the States on Monday.